Hello everybody, Spooky Marshmallow here, and today's Scream Queen of the Day is Sarah Michelle Geller. And this video is going to be long because she is a very busy lady. So let us begin, shall we? Sarah Michelle Prince was born April 14th, 1977. She is an American actress, producer, and entrepreneur. Geller was born on Long Island, New York. She is the only child of Rosalind, a nursery school teacher, and Arthur Geller, a garment worker. Both of her parents are Jewish, though Geller's family also had a Christmas tree during her childhood. In 1984, when she was seven, her parents divorced and she was raised by her mother on Manhattan's Upper East Side. While growing up with her mother, she lost contact with her father, for whom she remained estranged until his death in 2001. She once described him as non-existent, and in the early 2000s, she stated, quote, My father, you can just say, is not in the picture. I'm not being deliberately evasive about him, it's just that there's so little to say, unquote. Besides being a working child at the time, Geller was a competitive figure skater, once finishing in third place at a New York State Regional Competition, as well as having a black belt in Taekwondo. At the age of four, she was spotted by an agent in a restaurant in Upper Manhattan. Two weeks later, she auditioned for a part in the television film, An Invasion of Privacy. At the audition, Geller read both her own lines and those of Harper, impressing the directors enough to cast her in that role. The film aired on CBS in January 1983. She subsequently appeared in a controversial television commercial for Burger King, in which her character criticized McDonald's and claimed to eat only at Burger King. The ad led to a lawsuit by McDonald's naming Geller and banning her from eating at the food chain. She recalls in a 20 or in a 2004 interview, quote, I wasn't allowed to eat there. It was tough because when you're a little kid, McDonald's is where all your friends have their birthday parties. So I missed out on a lot of apple pies, unquote. While growing up, Geller also worked as a model for Wilhelmina and acted in numerous television commercials. During the 1980s, Geller played minor roles in the films Over the Brooklyn Bridge, Funny Farm, and High Stakes, and also guest starred in various television series. Geller was given a partial scholarship to study at the Columbia Grammar and Preparatory School, as her mother was not able to pay full tuition, for which she was constantly bullied. She said in an interview, quote, I was different, and that's one thing you can't be at school, because you're ost ostracized. I don't have the money these kids have, unquote. Geller was not present in class for most of the time at the school, as she had to work on several acting projects simultaneously, recalling that she had more absences in the first month than you're supposed to have for an entire year. I was telling them that I had back problems and had to go to the doctor the whole time, unquote. Geller then briefly attended the Fiorello H. LaGuardia High School of Music and Art and Performing Arts, but dropped out due to ag acting obligations. The teachers threatened to fail her because of her constant absences from classes, as she was busy going to auditions, despite earning good grades. Geller graduated from the Professional Children's School in 1994 as a straight-A student with a 4.0 grade average. As Geller spent significant time working on All My Children while trying to graduate, the majority of her senior year was completed through guided study.
1991, she was cast as a young Jacqueline Bouvier in A Woman Named Jackie. The miniseries won the Emmy Award for Outstanding Limited Series. Geller next took on the leading role in the 1992 syndicated teen series Swan's Crossing, which chronicled the lives of a group of wealthy teenagers. The series ran for one season and earned Geller two Young Artist Award nominations, one for Best Young Actress in a New Television Series and for Best Young Actress in an Off Primetime Series. She made her debut in the soap opera All My Children in 1993, playing Kendall Hart, the long-lost teenage daughter of character Erica Kane, who is Susan Lucci. As she got the role, Geller was complimented as having the acting talent and the forceful personality needed to go up against Lucci's experience. Kendall was supposed to be like a younger version of Erica. Her stint on the show was successful as longtime fans of the soap saw her as the second coming of Erica. Writers showcased her more after her initial reception, and she became a household name to the soap opera medium. In 1995, at the age of 18, she won a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Younger Actress in a Drama Series for the role. The same year, Geller left the show to pursue other acting active opportunities. Geller moved to Los Angeles following her departure from All My Children, and in 1996, she read the script for the television series Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which follows Buffy Summers, a teenager burdened with the responsibility of fighting occult foes and supernatural occurrences. She screen tested several times, originally for the role of Cordelia Chase, but after approaching Whedon and producers about playing Buffy Summers, she auditioned again and was eventually cast in the title role. The show premiered in March 1997 to widespread critical and popular acclaim, and Geller's Buffy, created to subvert the stereotypical female horror movie victim, was described by Entertainment Weekly as one of the 100 greatest female characters in U.S. television. Buffy ran for seven seasons and 144 episodes, and during its broadcast earned Geller five Teen Choice Awards, the Saturn Award for Best Genre Television Actress, and a Go Golden Globe Award nomination for Best Actress. She sang during the series' musical episode, Once More with Feeling, which spawned an original cast album that was released in 2002. During the early airing of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Geller made her first major film appearances in two successful slasher films. In I Know What You Did Last Summer, she took on the role of an ill-fated aspiring beauty actress Helen Shivers. Budgeted at $17 million, the movie made $125 million globally. She agreed to perform in Scream 2 without having read the script on the basis of the success of the first film. Screen 2 grossed over $172 million worldwide. In 1998, Geller hosted the for, for, for the first time Saturday Night Live and provided the voice of the Gwendy doll in Small Soldiers. She made an appearance on The Most Beautiful List by People magazine, which cemented her It Girl status at the time. In 1999, she had a cameo appearance in the She's All That and took on the lead role of a struggling restaurant owner in the critically panned romantic comedy Simply Irresistible. Then came Cruel Intentions. Geller played Catherine Mertuel, a Burnett cocaine addict with an appetite for manipulating people. The U.S. $10 million film was a hit at the box office, grossing $75 million worldwide. Geller and co-star Selma Blair obtained the Best Kiss Award at the 2000 MTV Movie Awards. Around the time, she guest starred in three episodes of Angel and appeared as Debbie in the HBO series Sex in the City episode Escape from New York. Geller played the daughter of a mobster in James Toback's independent, independent drama Harvard Man, which premiered at the 2001 Keynes Film Festival. While the film found a limited release in theaters, Geller's performance in it, along with Cruel Intentions, 
helped her shed her good girl image. Geller portrayed Daphne Blake in the live-action comedy Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo made over $275 million and became Geller's most widely seen film to date. She won the Teen Choice Award in the category of Choice Movie Actress for her part in the picture. Alongside Jack Black, she hosted the 2002 MTV Movie Awards, which attracted 7.1 million viewers on its June 6th broadcast, achieving the show's highest rating ever at the time. Throughout this time, she also appeared in magazines, commercials, and music videos. She had even gained sex symbol status. During her growing film career, Geller continued work on the television series Buffy the Vampire Slayer, but she left the show after the seventh season. When asked why, she explained, quote, This isn't about leaving for a career in movies or in theater. It's more of a personal decision. I need a rest, unquote. In her feature in Esquire magazine, Geller expressed her pride for her work on Buffy. Quote, I truly believe that it is one of the greatest shows of all time, and it will go down in history as that. And I don't feel that that is a cocky statement. We changed the way that people looked at television. Unquote. After the end of Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Geller provided her voice for the character Gina Vendetti in The Simpsons episode, The Wandering Juvie. It aired on March 2004. Her next film was Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed, reprising the role of Daphne. The film, again, was a commercial success, 181.4 million around the globe. In the horror remake The Grudge, Geller portrayed Karen Davis, an exchange student living and working in Tokyo. She becomes exposed to a mysterious supernatural curse. The film was a major box office hit, grossing more than $110 million in the U.S. and $187 million worldwide. She received an MTV Movie Award nomination for Best Frightened Performance, as well as a nomination for the Teen Choice Award for Choice Movie Actress. Since 2005, she has voiced several characters in 13 episodes of the animated series Robot Chicken as of 2018. I love Robot Chicken, by the way. Geller starred in Southland Tales as an adult film star working on creating a reality television show. Geller had met with Kelly and was drawn to the original ideas for the movie, accepting the role before she even read the script. <clears throat> she has a habit of doing that. Have you noticed that? The film found a limited audience in theaters. In 2006, Geller also briefly reprised her role of Karen in the critically acclaimed sequel The Grudge 2 and starred in the psychological thriller The Return as a businesswoman haunted by memories of her childhood and the mysterious death of a young woman. The film was a critical and commercial failure, grossing only $11 million. In 2007, Geller voiced Ella in the poorly received animated film Happily Never After, and also April O'Neil in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which made $95 million. She starred in the romantic comedy Suburban Girl and the drama The Air I Breathe, both of which were screened at the 2007 Tribeca Film Festival. In Suburban Girl, she took the role of a New York City editor and the love interest of a much older, influential man. The film was released for DVD in January 2008. In the likewise little scene film The Air I Breathe, Geller portrayed an up-and-coming pop singer. In 2009, Geller starred in the psychological thriller Possession as a lawyer whose life is thrown into chaos after a car accident sends her husband and brother-in-law into comas. Due to financial problems at Yari Film Group, the film went to DVD in March of 2010. In 2011, she signed to star and work as executive producer for a new drama titled Ringer, in which she played the dual role of twin sisters, one of whom is on the run and manages to hide by assuming the wealthy life of the other. Geller has stated that part of her decision to return to television was because it allowed her to both work and raise her child. The series received positive reviews from critics, but it was canceled after the first season. For her portrayal, she received several award nominations, including one for the Teen Choice Award for Choice Television Actress. 
Also in 2011, Geller returned as a guest star on the ABC soap opera All My Children before the show's ending, but, was, but not as Kendall Hart. She portrayed a patient at Pine Valley Hospital who tells Maria Santos that she is Erica Kane's daughter and states that she saw vampires before they became trendy, a reference to Buffy the Vampire Slayer. She voiced a character in the American Dad episode Virtual Insanity and again for the December 6, 2012 episode Adventures in Haley City. On September 30th, 2012, she reprised her role of Gina Vendetti in the premiere episode of The Simpsons in season 24. A fan of Robin Williams for years, once Geller learned that he was making the single camera television series The Crazy Ones, she contacted her friend Sarah de C. Rego, the wife of Williams' best friend, Bobcat Goldthwait, in order to lobby for a co-starring role. She obtained the part of an advertising director who runs an agency with her father. The series was canceled after one season, but earned Geller the People's Choice Award for Favorite Actress in a New Television Series. In March 2015, Geller guest starred as Cinderella in Whitney Avalon's official YouTube channel video short, Princess Rap Battle, and joined the cast of Star Wars Rebels for Season 2, playing a reoccurring character known as the Seventh Sister. In early 2016, Geller filmed for NBC a pilot presentation for a potential television series based on the cult classic film Cruel Intentions, reprising her role of Catherine. The pilot was ultimately not picked up to series. In the film adaptation Veronica Decides to Die, Geller starred as a young depressed woman who rediscovers the joy in life when she finds out that she only has days to live following a suicide attempt. Like Possession, the film failed to find a proper release in North American theaters and was released for video on demand in 2015. On January 10th, 2019, it was announced Geller would appear in the limited series Sometimes I Lie, based on the best-selling book of the same name. The series would be produced by Geller and others in association with Warner Brothers. On May 16th, 2019, Geller appeared in the series finale of The Big Bang Theory, on August 22, 2019, Geller has to produce and appear in a pilot for Fox titled Other People's Houses. In February 2020, Geller joined the main voice cast of Kevin Smith's Masters of the Universe Revelation anima animated series for Netflix. She plays the role of Tila. On March 31, 2021, it was announced that Geller had been cast in comedy pilot Hot Pink from Amazon Studios. She has also had a cameo role in Smith's films Clerks 3. At the 2022 San Diego Comic Con, it was announced that Geller had joined the cast of the upcoming Paramount Plus series Wolfpack. Geller is an active advocate for various charities including Breast Cancer Research, Project Angel Food, Habitat for Humanity, and Care. Of her charitable pursuits, she says, quote, I started because my mother taught me a long time ago that even when you have nothing, there's ways to give back. And what you get in return for that is tenfold. But it was always hard because I couldn't do a lot. I couldn't do much more than just donate money when I was on Buffy because there wasn't time. And now that I have the time, it's amazing." Unquote. Throughout her career, she has volunteered for many charity programs and continues to add to her list to this day. Geller released a cookbook titled Stirring Up Fun with Food on April 18, 2017. The book was co-authored by Gia Russo and features numerous food crafting ideas. Geller met her future husband, Freddie Prince Jr., while they were filming the 1997 movie I Know What You Did Last Summer but the two did not begin dating until 2000. They were engaged in April 2001 and married in Mexico on September 1, 2002. The ceremony was officiated by Adam Shankman, a director and choreographer with whom Geller had worked on Buffy the Vampire Slayer with. Prince and Geller have worked together several times. They played each other's respective love interests as Fred and Daphne in the 2002 film Scooby-Doo and its sequel Scooby-Doo 2 and both provided their voices for the animated feature film Happily Never After 
and the animated science fiction series Star Wars Rebels. In 2007, in honor of their fifth year of marriage, Geller legally changed her name to Sarah Michelle Prince. Together, Geller and Prince have two children, a daughter born in 2009 and a son born in 2012. The family lives in L.A. On February 10, 2021, Geller expressed support for her Buffy the Vampire Slayer co-star Charisma Carpenter after Carpenter made allegations of abuse against series creator Joss, Joss Whedon. She also stated, quote, while I am proud to have my name associated with Buffy Summers, I don't want to be forever associated with the name Joss Whedon, unquote. And that's going to do it about my video of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Oh, I mean Sarah Michelle Gellar. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Spooky Marshmallow. Please like and subscribe. And don't forget, stay spooky, my friends.